Hello students and welcome to my channel MathsUp. So today in this video we will learn about the logical connector negation. So follow the last slides, the last videos. I told about the logical connectors, connect conjunction and disjunction also. So let us understand what is the negation operator. The negation operator means that if we have proposition P with us, the negation of P means to write the Opposite case, that means not that case that we are talking about. So negation is represented by this symbol or in some books, they also follow the symbol like this, right? So both the symbols can be used. So whatever is the propos proposition given to us, so negation P would be not P, right? So the English meaning of negation is not. So if I tell you that you have to find the negation of the proposition today is Friday, the negation would be today is not Friday, right? As simple as it. If I ask you that, find the negation of the proposition, at least 10 inches of rain fell today in Rajpura. So what will happen? At least means minimum 10 inches fell. So when you are writing the negation, you have to write it as maximum 10 inches fell, right? So what will you write that? Less than 10 inches of rain fell today in Rajpura. Or you can also write that at most 10 inches of rain fell today in Rajpura, right? So you just have to negate the given statement. So let us understand the truth table for the negation operator. So here the input is P and the output is negation P. So it is simple. When the statement is false, the negation has to be a true statement. And when the statement is true, the negation has to be a false statement, right? So that means the truth values of the negation of P is just the opposite of the truth values of negation P, right? So let us understand the truth values. So when we say that today is Friday and our argument is today is not Friday. So when we take the first case, case number one as P is a true statement, right? So when we say that today is Friday, what is our argument? Our argument is that P is not Friday. So that means it has to be false, right? And second case, when we take is that today is already a false statement. P is a false statement. So if I say that today is not Friday, what would the negation be then? Argument is today is not Friday. So it is a true statement, isn't it? Right? So when the statement was true, today is Friday. Our argument was today is not Friday. So it becomes false. But when our statement is false, that today is not Friday, the argument is correct. It is not Friday, so it has to be true, right? So I hope this example clears you about the truth values of the negation operator done in the truth tables. And then let's take this example. The operator, the proposition given to us, it is snowing. So the negation would be it is not snowing. Similarly, if I give you the proposition Newton knew Einstein, the negation of the statement would be Newton did not know Einstein, right? Likewise, the statement is, I am not registered for CS195. So the negation would be that I am registered for CS195. Right? So I hope you understood the negation operators. And now let us take a combination of it. So I am giving you two statements. P, it is hot. And Q, it is sunny. So I want your answer in terms of logical operators. It is hot and sunny. So P is hot and operator is this and you write the second statement with the symbol Q. Right? So we will get P and Q. The next statement is it is not hot but sunny. Right? So how you are going to write? It's not hot. So negation P and sunny. So it will become and Q. Right? And the third one, it is neither hot nor sunny. So neither hot nor sunny means that neither hot nor sunny. It is the negation of either or. Either or means that we have to take either of the statements P or Q. So when you negate it, what will you get using the De Morgan's law? You have done it in set theory also. So it will be negation P, negation with negation Q. So the statement will become negation P and negation Q, right? So that is what it is. It is neither hot nor sunny. So I'm giving you some exercises to do. You have to represent the statements with the variables PQR 
and with the help of negation, conjunction, and disjunction, you need to rewrite these statements, right? So the answers are have been given. So you have to reply me in the comment section that what were the answers of those problems, right? So thank you so much. I hope you understood the negation operator. And do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. In the next video, I'll tell you about the implication operator. Do share the videos and thank you so much and have a nice day.